Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It is October 4th, 2022. Bryce Castillo, your pre-show green room, great room navigator, bringing you uh, in and out of all of the mess. That is the Great Night Show. Thank you for joining us here. We're going to get started in just a few moments. I want to remind everybody that you can support this all the time and all the time you can support this over at patreon.com slash great night. You get access to our bonus, uh, our bonus episodes that are only on Patreon and they're really good, y'all. The bonus episodes are really good. Uh, you get email updates, all sorts of stuff. Get in the Diamond Lounge, all the other good stuff. Let me get all these emojis off my face and uh, let me see if... Uh, if if the boys in the green room are ready, green room, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, boy. hello, we have, can, baby. Have a very good green room. And yeah, can you, can you get the AC if it's still on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, no, hold no. on, hold on. Okay, we got a remote. Yeah, no, just uh, turn it up louder. Got him. There was an old David Spade joke. I think it was on Hollywood Minute. It was like the Hard Rock Hotel, the only place where the Front desk gets the call. Excuse me, I'm in room 402. Can you tell my neighbors to turn their music up? <laughs> <laughs> I, wait, 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 was he shilling for the Hard Rock? Or? I think it was like because it was a new, a new thing. Yeah, yeah. It was like a joke. It was a joke that they were trying to be edgy. Uh, I'd like to bring that to the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas, where yeah. somebody's uh, drinking a lot of uh, cough syrup. And it's like, excuse me, could you drink that louder? <laughs> Was that happening the last time we were in New Orleans? I, I imagine. I, I imagine it's like a back alley of the world. <laughs> like uh, the Orleans is a. It, the last time we were in New Orleans, we were uh, uh, at our TGI Fridays, for which Our. we are we are want to hang at. This close to buying shares. This close. And we, uh, uh, <laughs> if you remember the exact wording, then please correct me. But we asked the bartender, so what do you think of the uh, clientele here at the Orleans? <laughs> and she says, if, if, if it's something different than you remember, because sometimes you have a better memory. But in my memory, she just goes, downscale. <laughs> Rough, roughly that like 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 it was it was it was a, a, a direct admission that this was the rv park of, <laughs> of, of the vegas, vegas strip <laughs> i mean when, sufficiently like like there this there might be a room where they're cooking meth is is pretty much what she was when, saying when, when, when the mid-tier restaurant is tgi fridays <laughs> like not an original concept no this is the mid-tier restaurant and and the high-end restaurant is a ghost town uh, except for random moments like uh, between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. No, Ballywick, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. Now we're just getting into very specific no, stuff. Yeah. Hey, Elon Musk is buying Twitter. Uh, no, Elon Musk is doing international diplomacy via Twitter polls. Oh no, wait, he did he did he do the Twitter poll? Oh no, no, no he just said a yes or no. No. It was his pitch, and then he did yes or no. Correct. And yeah. then Zelensky chimes, chimed in on Because Twitter. he's an influencer yes. who's, who wants the, the social traction and also is the bulwark against or accelerant toward nuclear war. How um, nuclear war? Did I fuck that up again? No, uh, you did it right. Um, I get yelled at. Everybody yells nuclear. at me. Nuclear. 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 No, that's so, the that's the Homer Simpson uh, way. New is killer. it better? Is it a good thing or a bad thing that literal wars are being shaped by words on Twitter? Because on the one hand, I find that very stupid. On the other hand, that's much better than you know propaganda and World War II stuff and all that stuff. Is it better? I mean, like, I, I just think it's the way of the world now. And, and I don't think that we're ever going to see a war fought where the heads of state are not actively going at each other and trying to ratio each other on Twitter. Okay. What is so? So on the one hand, it's dumb as hell. Yeah. But, but if it reduces any body count, I'm for it. How dumb should like uh, 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 idiocracy style? How dumb should future diplomacy be that we could feel really good about it? Just, I mean, I, I guess the the, the way. Oh, oh no, no, I know. I'm still in Twitter land where it's like all of a sudden 
somebody loses a war Rat and then battles. and then the 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 head of state posts the opposing head of state with the crying jordan face <laughs> <laughs> meme, meme wars yeah meme wars yeah i feel like that's that's where we're going like that's that that that's where we're heading with be, this there should be a decathlon where it's like there's meme wars so the world leaders and their teams, I mean, let's not yeah. pretend like yeah, 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 you know yeah. anybody should be media literate in all things, but their teams should have to compete in 10 categories, uh, memes, rap battles, freestyle, uh, 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 poignant essays, um, uh, 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 raves, Oh, geez. <laughs> wow. I was trying to take another on ramp that was Vaseline and glow sticks, and here you are in very dangerous territory, my friend. Land this one. We're at racial. For those of you just joining us, Brian is in the middle of a thought that could end his career. He started with Ray, and then it was Shaw, and now we are at E all. Racial what? The world waits in bated breath as Brian Brushwood tries to avoid total <laughs> cancellation yeah. Yeah. racial what you know, understand this is in the context of not killing racial human beings. what I would rather see a battle of like uh, 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 how uh, re racial recontextualization essays in the New York Times the paper of record oh you mean like 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 like, like African American studies Op-eds. long form yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 he's like yeah. well if you think about it the real Mm, that's as far as I'll you go. You want to know yeah, what? Yeah. yeah. But, but also, I'm not at war. I'm going to move on. Okay. We're moving on to the next topic. Oh, really? Uh, of candy canes. Brian, while that conversation is going on, okay, go on. we're behind the scenes. Okay, good. They're, they're talking you about really, candy canes. Oh, my God. Okay, they're going yeah, yeah, to candy yeah. canes. Yeah. Uh, uh, you really fucked up there. What do you mean? Because it's not only the smart people that write in the Atlantic that do racial <laughs> recontextualization essays. I mean, There's also a lot thing. of sites on the internet oh, that are God. delisted from Google that extensively traffic in racial recontextualization essays. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe we measure success by... Candy canes! Oh, God damn it. All right, Candy all right. canes uh, are great. Event Woo! number six is a good old-fashioned three-legged race. Uh-huh. Uh, with so so the head of state and who else? Um, their best athlete, their their most famous actor, their vice president, who? Uh, just a baby, a small <laughs> baby, just strapped to their leg. They, but they get to pick the baby. <laughs> no, the oh no, they should pick their strongest baby. Mm, uh, like yeah, you know that viral baby that like beats up people. The viral baby. There's a viral baby. Does she that... have a virus? I, I said, uh, does she have no, a virus? No, 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 no. The fighter people? baby. The fighter like, baby. Like, like, uh, uh, the uh, fi- douche douche or whatever. Uh, uh, Bryce, on? if you can find this, the the fighter baby who's like the from in, in like Kazakhstan or something like that. Uh, uh, but but he's he's viral on the internet. Yes, this kid. Th- these two kids. They, f- <laughs> they oh shit! Actually, maybe maybe that's uh uh oh uh one round of chess boxing. That's event number seven. Okay, yeah, but if you say let's get back to this three legged race. So one of these kids, <laughs> these kids are 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 violent, right? Like they are yeah. they are looking to destroy. Uh, uh, you you tie them to the head of state's leg. They got across the finish line together, and everybody has to have their feet down. I'm with that. That decides something. Okay. Number eight. Number eight. Trivia. Uh, uh, pub, pub, pub trivia. How many questions? Bryce? Well, it's uh, seven rounds with eight questions each. Right. Can, can, can you ju- just throw us one example question, and we'll be world leaders from history uh, answering them. Sure. Well, uh, let me go to my archive here of questions from our friends over at Geeks Who Drink. Who Drink. Uh, we are. Here's a question for you. Okay. <laughs> I like the the voice. Okay. Uh, here's a question for you. Yeah. I'm Lala. prepared. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Lala. I'm ready to go. What are you doing? I'm, Let him say the thing. I'm, I'm announcing that I'm ready to go. You don't know which leader I am yet. 
That's that's the game is that I have to figure out what leader you are while you have to figure I mean, out the question. I do too. So we're both in this <laughs> trivia game. Also me. We're all in the same boat here. <laughs> Lala is a slang term for lesbian used by the LGBT plus community in what country that has almost the exact same area as the United States? Era. Uh, uh, I was... <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about this question with my esteemed enemy of another state and time. Your name, sir? Uh, 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 I am Fidel Castro, <laughs> and uh, I will answer this question correctly. Uh, 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 Lala's. Well, what, what what countries are roughly the size of the United States, Castro? I'll give you a dollar. Uh, uh, no, we are against each other yes. in this. You are imperialist pig dog. You yes. make guess, I make guess. Also, I totally did Marilyn Monroe. I'm high on painkillers. <laughs> Privileged youth. Do you need the question again? Or? PT boat. <laughs> Lala's are lesbians. Uh, yes. What, what country? Uh, uh, Fidel, throw me. No, a you're away. answering it, and then I'm answering. Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I confused about the structure of this? You said two leaders answer a thing. I am Fidel Castro. You said here's a longtime uh, uh, opponent of mine. Yes. This is me. Um, uh, <laughs> Russia. All right, your answer, Russia is. Incorrect. Uh, uh, I, Fidel Castro, pick Brazil. Ah, also incorrect. Only 15% of the teams right. got this. Do you want one more guess? How does it feel, Fidel? You're Humiliating. Real, you, you piece of shit. <laughs> well, what say that you You're a son of a bitch. Oh, no, come on. Don't, don't make I me. will outlive you I'll by three decades, you son of a bitch. I swear to God, if my hands weren't around the back of Marilyn Monroe's head right now, I'd have something to say to you. We were looking for China. We were looking for China. China has roughly the same amount as... as uh, uh, of, of land mass? Of land or, yeah, or, Same area. Yeah. Wait, really? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Brett's here. All right, we have, we have, we have, we have we're, we're talking I about no, the decathlon I got a thing. instead of wars. I got a, I got a thing. Uh, enough about the decathlon. I got hats. Wait. People have sent me hats, and I want to show you these hats. Okay. Just only grab the white one. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's only grab the white one. Wow. Yeah, there's two the hats. There's thing. a black Ray. one and a white one. Shh. All right, so for, uh, for by people. By the way, number nine was... Uh, uh, Imagine uh, uh, the best flea circus. Number ten was um, uh, uh, the best musical. Like, that, did they have to do originally? Yeah, yeah. Uh, or, They've got to come up with one, no, or they, they have to they, pick one, no, no, and then they, they there's a panel license. of they judges. Can, they, they can license Greece, but or they have something. to perform it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's better than war. That would be great. Yeah. It is better than war. That would be yeah. great. If if uh, uh, Ho Chi Minh had to, to <laughs> say, Ho Chi Minh was yeah. like, uh, we, we come together like sap chop up a rap, you a double ding dong. <laughs> It'd be pretty good. I'm so glad that no hesitation. We were on the same. We are synchronized. All right, what do you got? Uh, so when <laughs> Joe Biden gave uh, uh, everybody who had student loans money, sure, I said on Twitter that I was not mad that he was doing it. Yeah. Uh, uh, even though I paid off my student loans, however. I would like a hat. Okay. Just a hat. It doesn't have sure. to be any kind of hat. It doesn't have to say anything on it. I just like a hat. So the internet has, for the last month and a half, okay. decided that they're just going to send me hats uh, to my P.O. box. Uh, and this one came in today. Brian, can you please <laughs> read it? <laughs> it says, in a very simple font, not uh, not repurposed for a hat at all, just very simply... Movie draft 2019 fifth placer, which which I believe was that the last movie draft? I think it might have been. Wow. So there we go. That's one hat. Brett, do you even know about the movie draft? Uh, no, I do not. We got to bring it back because now that movies are back, we yeah. got to bring it back. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, now here's here's the second hat, and this is my favorite hat. Brett, I need you to describe what is on this hat. A a very smartly drawn line drawing of a hat. It's a hat on a hat. Yeah. It's a hat on a hat. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's this so good. This is my favorite that's, one. That's I have gotten, I have gotten so, so many hats. I have gotten yeah. so many hats, but, but nobody has said the they a uh, hat on a hat. A hat on I will hat. literally yeah. wear this for the rest of my life. Definitely. I am uh, so excited hey, to have uh, a hat on a hat. Since, since we're in the pre-show, can we, can we just like uh, uh, unironically sing the praises of how good this season of Rick and Morty is? It's It's unreal. Uh, it's fucking great. It's it's amazing. Yeah, you, you, you caught up. I've been I've been watching Frasier. How's those tossed Man. salads and scrambled oh, eggs? Well, all over my face. What is a boy to do? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that dog's dead. I know. I need to. Uh, oh, I need to watch Rick and Morty. Uh, do you, do you, uh, Bryce? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, everybody. Uh, do, do do we all have the same disease? Like I can't think of an animal from any kind what of. What are you, Doctor Oz? <laughs> oh, it's a oh. modern reference for modern people. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, Tell yeah. us more about dead dogs. What no, other dead no, dogs no. do you yeah, like? You know, what other dead dogs are you a fan just of? Pointing out that number scene. one, our top eight dead dogs. Oh, Go. Number uh, one, coming in at number eight. Oh, sorry, number eight, Lassie. Yeah. Lassie. Lassie was once a dog, and on television, she found Timmy in a well, and now the well is the well of souls for which <laughs> she's fallen into for eternity. Number oh, here. No, you go number seven. Number. Number seven, uh, we'd like to say, but a big shout out to the talking mule, Francis, the talking mule. If anybody remembers that, it's from the seven, uh, from the 1950s. I was just looking for the number seven. Oh, number seven. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> you son Wait, of a bitch. Uh, for or, or you just decided to yeah. put it? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. yeah, all right. I think we're going to go in the round here. Right. Yeah. yeah. Number seven. Okay. Uh, 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 Mr. Ed, <laughs> that, that horse is dead. Mm. We thought that this was just about dogs. Uh, instead, it's now about all animals. Yes. Mr. Ed, famous for talking when he wasn't supposed to, but he'll never talk again in the cold, grim <laughs> reality of death. <laughs> Number six. All them spiders in the William Shatner vehicle, Kingdom of the Spiders, all them tarantulas. Do you remember how many tarantulas they straight up killed live on camera? Do you remember that? Creepy, crawly, spooky, scary. It's time for Halloween. Making you think of spiders, the creepiest animal. But you want to know who will never think of spiders again? The spiders themselves. <laughs> because they're currently dead. Number four. Five. Uh, Bryce, you came just in time. Uh, <laughs> I need you to think of literally any animal. Uh, well, Babe Pig in the City is definitely dead. That that pig is dead. You gotta say it though. He can't say it. You have Babe to say it. Pig out of and in the city. Oink oink oink. There's no room for this pig on earth. <laughs> the realm has banished it to the land of wind and ghosts, where now it'll do forever. Number four. <laughs> <laughs> the frog from Princess and the Frog. Oh, there we go. Unfortunately. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> Pinch it off. <laughs> no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Literally any animal. Um, any uh, animal. Okay. Hold on. Any animal. Um. Uh, um I bet. Uh. Uh. uh, uh <laughs> What the? What has happened? You can go back to dogs too. No, I. <laughs> you already said one from Frasier that you didn't <laughs> say in the <laughs> list. You can do that one. Uh, okay, all right. The Jack Russell from Frasier. Uh, uh, here the blues are calling. Toss salad and scrambled eggs. But this dog heard the sound of heaven's trumpets as it ascended to its final resting place. Uh, Number four, three. No, oh, Jesus. We're at three. Oh, we're at yeah. three. We're at three. Oh, shit. Uh, I, 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 Mad Max's dog from The Road Warrior. Blue Healer. Good dog. Dead. Uh, 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 rumble, rumble down under. <laughs> this desert classic saw one dog heroically experience an adventure, and now it experiences the ultimate adventure death. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Number two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, 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 I've got like eight of them. Oh, 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 uh, 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 the, the dog from Anchorman that Jack Black uh, punted. 
That's number two. That's number <laughs> two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Remember the 2000s? This dog does and nothing else. It's now dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, and coming in. Come, 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 come. <laughs> All over you at yeah, number I'm the goofy one. one. You have to be the. Stra- we have a problem with everyone wants to be the goofy man. Yes, sorry, need sorry. to be the straight man. Number one. Um. Uh. 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 That octopus from my octopus friend. The award-winning documentary about the guy who befriended an octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the number of tentacles that an octopus has. But it's going to need seven heaven when it dies. (laughs) Unfortunately, that octopus went to hell. And that wraps it up for Brian Brushwood's Dead Animal Countdown. I'm surprised you went from Road Warrior and then didn't do boy, A Boy and His Dog. Yep. Uh, oh, uh, uh, are people, people in the chat were pointing out both Milo and Otis? That mm. could have taken you home. Yeah. Uh, uh, Where the red fern grows. Do, yep. Do you guys do you guys remember who was the lead uh, actor, a uh, human actor in uh, Boy and His Dog? No. No. Really? Uh, I do, watched uh, it a few uh, years uh, ago. Don Johnson. Of Miami, of Vice Miami Vice theme. Wow. Yeah, oh. was he a young lad? Sure yeah, he was. Because uh, I watched, I think I watched league. it before we started Miami Vice, so I wouldn't have put that connection together. Yeah, uh, they, they also like a whole bunch of the imagery from uh, Fallout uh, came straight from Directly a boy from and that. his dog, like a dog like, meat, like like from uh, yeah, exactly a '57 Chevy, like half buried in the desert, uh, straight out of. Uh, uh, a boy and his dog, which I believe is on archive.org and is copyright free. A boy and his dog. Yeah, like I might they, have watched it. They didn't Netflix. renew it or something. That's that's where I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good movie. It was a weird turn. It kind of, kind of takes a turn. Yeah, with the rape. <laughs> and I was the what the, now? <laughs> I was thinking the subterranean. Wait a culture, minute, but it's hard to Wait, hop the whoa, audio. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> I have not seen spoilers for a boy and his dog here. <laughs> I, I don't want to. I know that Brian has a reputation for saying this isn't a spoiler and then spoiling things, but we're just going to yep. put the blanket uh, 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 indulgence on this one. Uh, no what happens in a boy and his do dog? Uh, it, it, was the it, dog a, a little bit reminiscent of? Uh, Can I just uh, pitch a, a thing and then you tell me how close means. I get? Oh no, just pitch, pitch away. Uh, What's your favorite thing? Fade in on a, an old soda jerk, and he's uh, wow. and he's and he's he's washing an old an old stein that he pours soda into, and he says, "Like boy, ain't nothing been like it since that boy and his dog left town. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 I hope they never come back." Uh, front door shatters, just gigantic. A, 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 a massive hellhound comes in, flame shooting from its eye on top of it a small boy like very like like tiny like 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 that kid that was kicking the other kid in the video you showed yeah yeah yeah. hasbula like he's he's on top of the dog and he goes i'm back and the soda jerk says jesus not since that rape have you been around here uh uh and he says i'm even smaller i'm more of a boy than i was before and this dog has only become more dog Maybe that's the sequel. I'm you got of. it exactly right yeah, now. Yeah, no, it's a boy and his dog I, too. I was thinking more like the subterranean <laughs> civilization, not the hard R. Sorry, yeah. but uh, uh, otherwise a good movie. No, uh, uh, the dog talks and the dog's voice is weird. No, uh, psychic. Uh, oh, what what was the actor's name? Um, he uh, 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 he was in Magnolia. It was his last role. He was ill and and died. Much like the dog. Philip Seymour. No, 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 no. The old man, the old man. Uh, the old, uh, uh, Tom Cruise's dad, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, the one who says, like, uh, uh, life is short. Life is long, too long. Life is a highway. Yeah, they'll, they'll have it there anyway. <laughs> right all night long. I can yeah. see his face. I, I can't remember his name. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm great. 
Yep. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Jason Robards yeah, were here. Yeah, Jason Robards was the voice of the dog. He's yeah. the voice of the dog. In all right, so, uh, so in all, in all communicating with John, Don Johnson. In yeah. all seriousness, so it's about a psychic dog. Yes, uh, and like they the, like communicate tactically in some fight scenes. Yeah, in in in, in yeah. the uh, it's an action movie. It, yes, a, yes. Oh yes. It, it, it is set in the post-apocalyptic wastes after what? A nuclear war. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why the subterranean '40s civilization is very. Which is left-turn. why uh, 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 possessing human females is uh, 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 bad. Bad. Uh, I mean, that's I mean, why worth condemnation and and a thing that happens. Uh, and he sets one free. Yeah, he sets a human female free. A human female. That's how I refer to them. But what kind of? But life wait, is they're it on they're the supposed to not be free. No, they're li- they're like living a kind of a, a Stepford sort of situation underground. So is they it, have a, when they're, is they're this captives. revealed? Is this in the first act? It's or? kind of like the second half. Yeah, it's like it's, the start of the second. So half. you think that it's a you think it's all above ground and it's all desert, post apocalyptic, and then you end up going underground into a war. Oh tea. shit! So it's not a reveal that this ideal community is not no. what it thinks it's, it is. It's, it's it kind of like a, into like, it. like a side quest. It's right? not. It's not. Yeah. Don't worry, darling. Which, by the way, I read the spoilers on Don't Worry, Darling. Yeah. Do you worry? Yipes. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Yikes. Forget about a boy and his dog. Everyone can watch it for free. I want to hear everything about Don't Worry, Darling, and go. Uh, spoilers? Are we just going to spoil yeah. it? Spoil. I mean, I don't think anything can spoil it worse than the shitty box office opening it has. I mean, it was no bros. Yeah, I was going to say, are you going to ruin it? Like, ruin <laughs> bros? Shit. I'm, apologies, Bryce. I don't know if this is a, a I, community-wide I tragedy. I, I know of the Well, Billy bros. Eichner said it was because the straights didn't see it. Wait, what? <sighs> What? And I, then somebody, and then somebody, and then the somebody did seconds. the math on how many gay people there are <laughs> in America, and we're like, no, nope, the, the gays didn't see it either, <laughs> because so, it made like it made like four million dollars, and if every yeah. gay person in America went to go see it, it would have made two hundred and seventy-seven million dollars. So Billy, it's a Billy. You've seen yeah, Billy, yeah, on the Billy on the street. Right. Yeah. Billy on the street. So he wrote a movie called up. Bros. I only know tangentially, but it's about like straight guy cult, straight guy bro culture. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. It, oh, it's, it it's a gay rom com. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, and it's... and and Apatow helped produce it. Right. Um, and, and direct. I, I, I only saw some. So like, yeah, it, it, was, it was the Forgetting Sarah Marshall director, oh. and, and they had marketed it. The whole idea was this was going to be the first major big motion picture gay rom com yeah. super hit. Yeah. And it was the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> like it was an absolute bomb and a half. But, but the question is is it, did it bomb because it's bad, or did it bomb because nobody thought to go Are see we it? still I, talking about bros? Or yeah, the new bros. Movie? yeah, bros. Okay, bros. Can bros. we move on to the new movie? What this is, is, this is, is the new movie. This is the new movie. The f- it's called your, Bros. Well, your, your, going... your confusion on it is part of the reason part why it only not, made $4 million, dollars, yeah. despite being in every movie theater in America last weekend. So what's the new movie? No, that is Rose it. Rose is Bros. the new movie. No, well, we the were old movie. There's we no were... old movie. He he was just from Billy on the Street. Yes, okay. he was the web guy. All right. Who yelled at people yeah, yeah, on the no, street? No, no. I, I, yeah, yes. So then, yes, yes, yes. This yes, was yes. his acting turn. Yes. Uh, in this, uh, uh, what was supposed to be a kind of raunchy, uh, a forgetting Sarah Marshall, Judd Apatow esque kind it. of comedy, yeah. uh, but it was a gay rom com, and they marketed it as a gay rom com and not, hey, here's a hilarious movie that happens to be about two right. guys falling in love. Mm-hmm. Instead, they led with the like important this is an important movie to the culture mm. so please know how Ooh. important it is so in the end, when you come okay, in here right, which right. is like the exact we, we, like opposite of we do hey have time. fuck it let's relax have a good time which is i think what it was built for because it's apparently really funny yeah i've heard it's good yeah uh, is 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 that is that tactic for uh drumming up um uh, interest like running out of steam or we Are gays it's boring really now? Young. It's too early to really Many have said, hi, I'm Morley Safer, and this is 60 Minutes. Hi, um, Morley, I'm Brian. It's uh, good um, to meet you. <laughs> I'm glad that we're here on our new show, The Morley and Bri Bri Excursion. That's right. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we are talking about Bros, the yes. gay rom com that sure did poor box are. office. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> why do you think uh, that, uh, um, uh, from my morally safer perspective, Bros bombed? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I just I just love being near you. I really think it's great. 
Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe uh, 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 gays aren't as controversial as they used to be. They need to really twist things up. That's a great point. Want to know what else is a great point? What? Saving money on your car insurance with Geico, <laughs> which is bringing you this brand new podcast, Morally Safer and Bri Bri, The Experience. Use the experience at checkout. <laughs> at, at, at the checkout of my insurance. At, of yeah. your insurance. Yeah, my when affiliate you marketing for the insurance. Go to the website, buy one unit, say oh. hello, I would like one, one unit of insurance. insurance. One, like unit. one insurance, one insurance, insurance please. please. Yes. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Morbri fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more bright. It's more bright. It's more bright. Yeah. I want to more see. Bright. I want to see the sixty minutes cover of us photoshopped together. <laughs> bright and yes, safer. it's me. We're the new hot team. Morley Safer and Brian Brushwood. <laughs> more uh, bright. Uh, uh, Morley, uh, uh, is it time for me to teach you to eat fire yet? Oh, no, it always is. <laughs> Right after we tell you about Me Undies. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Me Undies is a great place to get underwear. Mm. I'm morally safer, and I say cover up your privates. <laughs> you gotta. Yeah. Uh, they're, otherwise, they're vulnerable. You gotta. To, you gotta, to, to you who? Gotta. Attack. <laughs> By whom? The Morley? Viet Cong. Oh, my goodness. I've been around a long time, <laughs> and so I use old references so I can connect with my legacy audience. Morley, this is a rare opportunity. What does it look like when the Viet Cong attack your private? Imagine that you're in a 1950s suburban housewife colony. 20 years before the war. Exactly. And then you found out at the end of the movie that it was just a VR simulation for your abusive husband to keep you in place. Jumping forward 60 years. It's like that. Which is definitely not the spoilers, but don't worry, darling. Are you oh, fucking Jesus kidding me? Christ. Jesus All right. Christ. All right. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, Morally, because she wanted to get a job. Uh, uh, Morley, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Brian. <laughs> Roll credits. For initially, I thought, I thought you were doing the fucking MASH theme song. Do, 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 do. No, uh, uh, yeah, I was definitely doing Blues Brothers. Um, no shit. Is that really how dumb real. that movie is? For real. And it was a blacklist script for a while, so like it was well regarded. Written by Dick Van Dyke's grandsons. Wow. The original Blacklist script was written by it, and then it got Sorry, rewritten uh, by, by Olivia Wilde and her, her writing partner oh. uh, when to make it more female-centric, because it was more of like all the characters were kind of fleshed out, and, and uh -huh. there was like a shift of POV, and in this version, it's very much the Florence Pugh character that mm. is the, uh, the center. When you say Blacklist... Yeah. Do you mean the television show, or it was like banished from? No, no, you don't Hollywood. know what that is. No, so there's there's this thing called the blacklist, and it is yearly where they collect the like top twenty or twenty five unbought scripts. So like all the like writers will vote and say like, mm. oh, this is the best script that I've read that has not, been, not bought. been bought. So uh, the opposite of blackball. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. got it. So 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 it's basically an opportunity to celebrate uh, uh, unheralded. Heroes. So basically, yeah. once it makes that list, that's like the last chance that it will ever be sold because mm. now it's got a little prestige. It's got a little steam. Uh, you'll probably have some stars that'll be like, oh, I want to make it. And that's what happened with Don't Worry, uh, Darling with uh, Olivia Wilde. Oh. And then apparently that movie that's out now that uh, or it will be out about like people that are going to this chef who's like this like super amazing chef. And uh, uh, it's like, oh, all these rich people have paid a jillion dollars and they got to get rid of their phones. And then it turns out there's this like murder hijinks that happened. Turns there. out he's the soda jerk. He's the yes. soda jerk. And yeah. he's the soda jerk. <laughs> and just it's like, oh, I think it's like Ray Fiennes or something who's the chef. And he's just like, like I'm Ray Fiennes and I'm a soda jerk that likes to <laughs> polish the same stein over and over again. <laughs> Except this time the dog the hellhound with the tiny boy is on his side. It's oh, the third no. movie in the boy and his dog <laughs> trilogy. Man. A man and his hound <laughs> and his dog sidecar of canine hilarity <laughs> a more bride production uh, uh, i got a i got a quick thing go i got a 
Uh, so uh, a few weeks ago, Annalisa gave me this nice standing desk adapter for my office desk. So you you can lift it up and down, turn it into a standing. So sitting you desk. modded it. You modded your it's, desk. It's a well, regular it's just, sitting desk. You, it's not a mod. You just put it on the desk on the table surface. Oh, oh and then and it, it, it like it's a little a little platform. Yeah, it's gotcha. a little hydraulic sort of. Oh, thing. That's it's good. Yeah, it's for your table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, and so uh, I've had that for a little while now, and it's cool. You know, I like to stand up. I like to pretend I'm working the Southwest de- desk mm-hmm. and sure. typing in. It's like and what? And you're going. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Can I see your ID? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, let me just look here. And uh, okay. if this were true, I would like to believe that you do nothing but just reject people. Like, oh no, I'm sorry, that oh, one's we can't full. Do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that no, sorry, that one's booked up as well. No, that city's been wiped off the face of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually just a VR simulation. That was actually a man and his boy. Yeah. <laughs> a man and his boy. <laughs> a man and his, man boy. And his boy. Oh, oh that's a different boy. movie. Oh. Oh, oh, totally no! Totally no movie. wonder, bros, bombed. Uh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Should have been called that's a man so and man boy. and his boy. boy. Mm, God stupid. damn it! Anyway, I got a, I got a standing mat. I got a mat. Oh, nice. Oh, so so your your little feet and legs Waffle and knees. Can, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. And uh, I, when I <laughs> when I first put it down and first standing was standing on it. I was literally like hooting and hollering when I was standing. Because it's great. You're it's like, a Whoa. fucking awesome thing. Yeah, like, Woo! Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were really excited. It was great. It's a good fucking mat. It's a good. <laughs> Wait, the, is, that, is that just one of those things where it's like, because some places will do that at like conventions where they'll pay for like effectively like a mattress to be under their booth. So when people oh. are up. Walking around all day, when they walk into that booth, they're like, "Oh, oh yeah. and wow. that's when that's when their sales associates will be like, would you like to buy four cubicles? Uh, Hi, I'm fucking Fred Cubicle. I don't know. I, I kind of like the idea of them hooting and hollering like a bunch of uh, uh, chimpanzees yeah. in 2001. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the I, monolith I just showed up. I got one of those mats for my kitchen. Oh when yeah, I'm, when I'm cooking and uh, it's very funny that that's still how they like are promoting those mats. Mm-hmm. It's like stand up at your standing desk, or just if you're in front of the oven for like eight hours, mm-hmm. I guess you can fucking do that too. Which is weird that they fit all of that into a thirty second ad little, spot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although that would be some shit that you'd see on like Alibaba, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'd be like like uh, uh, Matt for standing desk work, uh, 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 America imperialism, uh, kitchen. Uh, also uh, 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 kitchen uh, slave, female kitchen slave. Can, <laughs> you know, we used to do uh, Alibaba themed games. Can we do a game that is just about the word fucking on Alibaba, where it's just like all of them have fucking somewhere in the description? We're just and, gonna see sex toys. Yeah, mostly. Yeah, how many butt plugs you want to do well, on the game? It'll be a lot of butt plugs. It'll yeah. be the color. I, I, I mean, we'll have to be the, like that's the, the color. Comment, yeah. Of course, would be that it. We would find all of the items that inappropriately say "fucking" but have nothing. But to have do nothing with sex. to do with yeah. butt plugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or There's got to be some big yeah. pen. Got to be some big pen. Wait, sexy big pen. A, a, a big big pen. big sexy big pen. Big sexy hard big pen. hand fucking. 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 <laughs> that's right. A uh, right ball ball peen. Uh 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 scratch scribble. Uh, Side your black, black ink, black ink, <laughs> blue ink, white ink. You're just—he's just, just invisible. Someone ink. needs to cut into him. He's just saying names. Now. Sorry, I've got Alibaba brain. <laughs> Apparently, he has Alibaba brain. <laughs> I'm morally. Sad. I'm sorry. There's not much, there's not much we can do with him now. Much. He's got Alibaba brain. <laughs> Writing utensils, school, office, <laughs> work. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, honey. It's time to sleep, Alibaba. Uh, uh, also, uh, an update from last week. Uh, we have a uh, thread in our Discord called Ziggy Zig Bon. And <laughs> <laughs> you can't please put some Ziggy it. comments. <laughs> it's all I want to do. I've never, all I've never I want to do Ziggy is Ziggy bon. Zig Bon. I've never been more sad that Bonnie's not here. <laughs> so continue to submit them. There, there's some good ones in there. Bonnie think, will be back. Yeah. She will be back, She'll and be she back. will, and and she will do it. I, I literally bon. thought this was a Spice Girls reference. Oh no, it is. I, I mean it is. It is. It is. Okay. But 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 congratulations, Bonnie. You diagnosed correctly. Yay. <laughs> We did Ziggy last week. Remember Ziggy the comic? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Remember yeah. Ziggy Zig Ah? Yes. From Ziggy the Spice Zig- Girls? Ah. Thank you. Ziggy Zig Bond. The two of them yeah, sure together. Yeah. Wow. And it's kind of like a I play on words, like wordplay. 
<laughs> you almost sounded like Deaf Poetry Jam. <laughs> it's kind of like. It's like. <laughs> a a play keep, on words. Keep going. Word on play. play. <laughs> Can you describe It'd be really the great if any of us could go this dog it. in that style? <laughs> yeah. This will be it. Then we're going to go out on this. So <laughs> land it strong. Nuclear <laughs> waste right in your face. <laughs> Are you leaving? Are you going to do it? No, I'm just I'm I'm, I'm just, just I'm pitching. Let him oh. Oh. Who was the host of Deaf of Deaf Poetry Dream? Russell was, Simmons. Was it Russell Simmons? Yeah, Russell. All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, uh I'll, I'll come and fade in. I'm wearing a very smart turtleneck. This is a different character from This is Russell Simmons. Yeah. Morley Safer. This is different from Morley yeah. Safer. No, they're different yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. yeah. They are different people. Welcome everybody. I'm Russell Simmons. Now, uh, for our next performer, we have a man who I think is one of the greatest voices in all of Brooklyn. <laughs> all of Brooklyn. <laughs> Bryce Castillo. Yeah. Can I get a little? Uh... No, they didn't go fucking. It was poetry know, jam. They didn't go something. crazy. Yeah. Uh, jump in. A boy, <laughs> a man, his dog. His dog, a film in Fallout World. There's no going back. Underground <laughs> town. He's literally covering his face. <laughs> Underground <laughs> town. Where? Selling strong. Selling strong. Yeah. No, Everybody, I'm Russell Simmons. <laughs> Give him his space. Excuse me. This is one of the greatest voices in Brooklyn. Respect Underground town, brown cow, how now? The man and the boy, his dog and a dog, they saved that girl from getting the R word. <laughs> and then they went back into the service and walked away. Or walked away and walked away. Just, just, just is hiding under. He's under. I'm Russell Simmons, and I'm under the table now. <laughs> all right, I, I have seriously <laughs> underestimated all the voices in Brooklyn. Right, are you guys ready for a show? Are we feeling it? <laughs> now the question is, oh. I've seen some porn that starts like this. I know. <laughs> oh my God! I just stepbrothered myself. I'm like. <laughs> Oh my God. What, what are you, are you doing, doing down there, step You're my podcaster? Step brother. Oh my God! <laughs> you got it. Get, you get got those it. legs out. Come on, Morley. There you go. That's a low oh, table too. Ass, you were real though. stuck under there, huh? Yeah, oh. he really was. Oh. We should call the podcast Morley and Me. Yeah, Mor- <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, Mission Control, are you there? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, can you say goodbye? <laughs> goodbye. Bye. 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 Welcome back to the preview of the dang thing. I'm Bryce Castillo here, running back in and holding holding court just a little bit. Thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, one more time, patreon.com slash great night is the name of uh, the website where you can support us. Patreon.com slash great night. Hello, everybody. We got a great show for you today. I uh, I ended up I ended up making a uh, 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 the open AI. We got, we're using open AI for the uh, the upcoming game today and i had to uh end up buying i bought some i bought some tokens i bought some tokens for their uh their da vinci text uh text uh and machine learning stuff and uh it's interesting it's interesting there it's different than the dolly tokens a little bit the dolly tokens are like uh one token is like one prompt and you get those four pictures back where for the open or for the the text stuff a token is like four characters four or five uh, like bit characters um and so it's it's kind of this it's kind of a weird sort of math of like well it's two cents for a thousand tokens and and, and but then it's like twenty cents for a thousand tokens for training. It's for different, for like all sorts of different stuff. There's a whole, it's a, it's a whole different thing. And the other thing is that it's like, uh, it's like it's pay as you go, which makes sense because it's it's pretty, it's pretty, you know, it accumulates over time because it's pretty cheap. But uh, uh, yeah, it was just it was just a little strange. And then it didn't work immediately. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still I'm still learning it because I'm I'm just using it in the. They've got a, a playground, kind of a web. Uh, 
interface where you can, you can type in type in your prompts and stuff. But I, I was I was having well not trouble, but I just I wasn't sure exactly how it worked. <laughs> and I, and a lot of it is like API stuff. And build you know build an application. I'm not building an application. I just want to make some funny some, some computer dick jokes, uh, which is. But that's probably sh who's got at computer dick jokes on Twitter. If I go to twitter.com slash computer dick jokes, am I going to get like a weird Twitter guy or gal? Oh, no, this this account doesn't exist. Oh, shit. OK, no computer dick jokes. That's interesting. Maybe they don't let you because sometimes they have like a like a, a like, oh, you can't put prof profanity in your username. Some of, some of those places do that. So that could be that. <laughs> That's right, Ben Franklin. Let Bryce meme. But uh, but so that was cool, and and so I've got it set up, and uh, uh, it was relatively easy. I'm still learning it. That is uh, doing it via the text compared to the uh, the Dolly image stuff. Like the prompt that you give it is really important when it comes to the playground interface sort of thing because because uh, it's all it, it's all based on what you're gonna get, and you only get so much. You know, you only because there's like a limit to how many tokens and how much the whole thing. But it's interesting. It's interesting, and I'd like to play with it a little more and see if there are easy ways to, like, hey, here's like a very easy rough data set. Can you try to mimic that? And I think that there will be. I think there's a way to do that. I just gotta figure it out. I got. I think I figure it out. I, I get in there and figure it out. Um, because that would be cool if I could say like, okay, here's. Like today, we're gonna do a, 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 a game based on uh, uh, based on sentences. Some people prefer, prefer a sentence, and um, and so it would be valuable to say like, okay, here are all of the real sentences that people have made, and uh, uh, now make your own. Now make some in the in the style of this. And I gotta figure out how to do that because I don't know how to. I don't know what P is. I don't know what my total P is. I don't know what my uh, repetition reward is I don't know what that is r i don't know what r is i don't know what p and r is they're barely, they're barely letters to me that's coming up uh, a little bit in the game we got some good stories for you too i uh <laughs> i am very interested to see how many people know about one of the topics that we've got today a lot of people are going to know one of them one of them is a big thing one of them, i don't know how many people are gonna it, it, we'll see we'll see i mean it'll be part of it that like not is it a lot of people but i do find i do find that this happens on on tiktok it's, it's partly from a, a thing from tiktok where you see something and you see it a lot the same thing pop up a lot like oh maybe everyone's doing they're doing the uh um uh, 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 uh they're all using the sound or they're all making the exact fucking same joke that everyone else is um and then you're like, oh, nobody is actually, nobody else is seeing this. It's just me. It's like me and like 30 people are being the beta testers for this meme <laughs> to see if anybody actually likes it. Um, but I think the one we got for you today is a real, it's a real solid one. Ah, Gyromancy in the chat is letting us know. Computer dick jokes is over 15 characters, so you cannot have it as a, com as a, as a username on Twitter. Well, that makes sense. All right, or I'll, well. I guess that tracks. I don't know that's necessarily. Does it make sense? What's the back? What's what should be the up? What should be the upper limit of a username? Maybe two two hundred and fifty six characters. Maybe five hundred and twelve. Maybe many. Just yeah. Give me a one thousand character username. I I like the bit on uh, that I've seen on Reddit where someone has posted a comment, uh, whatever, whatever comment about something, but their username is like all of these is just numbers and it's like. Every, 20, 30 numbers or something. <laughs> it's like, how do you, how do you remember? How do you log in with that? Which like, as a joke, you know, your whole like, how do you remember your username? It's so long. Like we have, uh, we have like password managers and stuff. So that kind of doesn't track. Uh, <laughs> the bit, the bit is like, uh, I, I have a slum dog millionaire style experience every time I log in to remember my username. And each number is based off of a, significant life moment or something uh but that that guy that didn't work anymore like password managers man we are, we are we are technology man is is evolving such that like there's 
there was, there was an interesting TikTok I saw a while back uh, that posited a very interesting idea. We grew up <laughs> with automobiles. Um, but the knowledge of how to drive a car may only be valuable for 100 or 150 years, all told. You know, eventually we'll get scooters or flying objects or automated, you know, automatic drive, even just, you know, auto, auto drive. What is it? The, the self-driving stuff. And so the, so even if there is driving, there's not necessarily the, the know how to drive. That'll, that'll be something that what might be maybe not necessarily entirely in our lifetimes, but we'll start to see the, 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 the edges of it, I think. Uh, Annalise is telling us that was a thing in Star Trek. Which Star Trek? Uh, oh, okay. I asked her a bad question. <laughs> uh, the one with Tom Voyager. She likes Voyager, too. So they don't have... Can, can, can you borrow Brett's mic for just a moment? <laughs> just for one sec. Or just... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, Voyager. Uh, uh, hello, Brett. Uh, yes. Hey, hey, Bryce. Yes, sir. Um, uh, I, it just occurred to me that. Whoa. Yes, sir. Uh, that neither neither EK nor Brett has uh, 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 almost certainly not seen one of our favorite uh, old old school clips. Uh, okay. Could, could you possibly pull up uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation with intro with lyrics, just just to set the palette? Uh, okay. Uh, can uh, yeah? Can we finish the thing that we were doing really quick? <laughs> yes. Okay. Annalisa. So they they had the same idea. You don't need to be in camera. It's an audio podcast. Live <laughs> <laughs> right now. Uh, hello. Okay. So they had to go back. To I'm gonna show you how to adjust a microphone stand one day. Well, I'm taking it back over there okay. as I walk. That's okay. Chill. Uh, Tom Paris and uh, the, a couple of other people had to go back to the 90s. Back to the 90s? Right? Yeah, and they had to figure out how to drive a car, and they were all like, oh, this is such ancient technology. Oh. I don't know if we could do this. Yeah, because they didn't know. They didn't have anything. Yeah. The, uh, what, wasn't there canonically like a crazy war in the 90s? Or, uh, he with was, soldiers I think it was uh, uh, Desert Storm. He was, he was the hologram, Tom Paris, right? No, no, no. no. no Tom, Paris, was... Tom Paris was the good-looking... The chisel-jawed guy. Oh, wait, who yeah. is the hologram? Uh, uh, the, the bald hologram. Portana. That's Roger Portana. The doctor. Portana. The doctor, yeah. Uh, uh, he was, uh, I think it was just called the doctor. Really? He yeah. was just the doctor. Uh, uh, but not Doctor Who. No, no, no. Uh, no, that's the uh, British guy. Yeah, yeah. uh, Robert Picardo. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Rob, but, but, Robert Picardo was, was the actor's name. But, but, but do you think they Picardo. got shit for that on, like, Message no, 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 I mean, back I'm in the late 90s? I think that was his name. <laughs> for, for Voyager Calling, can we find a Usenet board? From like 90, 96, where like uh, somebody is like, uh, uh, excuse me, on Voyager, and I'm sure it's like from the upfronts or something, like, like, uh, uh, Voyager is naming their doctor the doctor. I'm As sorry, if I we started don't this. know it from Doctor Who. I'll bet, I'll bet you that shit exists. From 2009, Star Trek Voyager is a good show. It almost is. Good as the best example of Star Trek, it is in my opinion, Star Trek: The Next Generation. Thank you, Smith Mike, for that. I didn't say what I wanted. Anyway, find find the 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 with lyrics clip. Yeah, that'll get us warmed up. Yeah, no, I'm feeling it. We'll get warmed up. Do, do you guys know what we're, we're talking about? Over. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, you, you you guys watch Star Trek: The Next Generation, right? Okay, all right. You ever you, you ever hear the theme song movie. with with its original lyrics? You mean Voyager? Uh, no, no, no. Star Trek The Next oh, Generation. Wait, no, no. Do you want me to find Voyager, the next though? generation one? Voyager. Voyager's really good, too. Oh. It's been a long road. Oh, it's just different. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's Enterprise. No, that's the No, no, no. So these series of videos, the same dude did all of them, and it was because uh, uh, that Enterprise. Enterprise had lyrics. Yeah. He's like, and so he was adding oh. lyrics to all the other Star Trek series. Sure. Yeah. All right, let's go. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Tracking the stars once again. Oh no, that's not it. That's not it. Yeah, yeah. Who uh, knew that there were too many? Wait, Bryce, do you not immediately know the clip that we're talking about? I have an idea, but there's there was a lot. I was I pulled out the Voyager one for the minute there. I no, no, no. It's the same dude, and he's in a Starfleet uniform, and he's in his his bedroom, uh, his bedroom. Or, or his living room. And, yeah. And in and in this the the next generation one, he jumps out from his closet after after uh, being on his knees. Uh, piloting a 
uh, yes. Enterprise across the screen. Sure, Maybe. let's just bring that up. Maybe this there. one? This, oh, this is our guy. This is our guy. Yes, yes, yes. Go so on, good. King, go. So good, so good. <laughs> you ain't ready. Starfleet. <laughs> Original lyrics. Let it simmer. Oh, wait. Is that a shadow on the Reporting horizon? Reporting for duty. Space. Oh. The final frontier. It's going to be a long but time. <laughs> these are the voyages of the Starship yes. Enterprise. Go, go, go. It's continuing <laughs> mission to explore strange new worlds. No. To seek out new life and new civilizations. He brings it back around. Civilization. Oh. To boldly go where no. no one has gone before. Here it comes. Here it comes. Star Trek The Next Generation We're trekking across the universe John Luke, Picard, Data Wharf, and Troy Dr. Crusher, Jordi LaForge Star Trek The Next Generation We're trying to see <laughs> who gets there first John Luke, Picard, Data Wharf, and Troy, Dr. Crusher, Jordy LaForge, right there <laughs> right they go there. in a big tin can, give me warp five fast as you can, Star Trek the next generation, and CC-1701, 101! Yeah! Surprisingly <laughs> strong singer. Surprisingly yeah. song. Hobie's got pipes. My my, pipe. uh, my favorite is that Riker didn't make the first cut, but yep. he gets it's, wedged it's, in at the very at end the, yes. as he breathes. Riker. As, uh, Riker. I'm always right, breathing let's, Riker. Let's do our checks. <laughs> All right, let's do some final checks here, everybody, for the Great Night program coming up in just a minute. One more time. Thank you so much to everyone who supports us over at patreon.com slash great night. Let's see how everybody is doing. Brian, you're good. Dustin, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here, Jeff, Annalisa, Brett Weaver, hello friend, the chat and our audience and Ooh, crowd, yeah. got a big crowd today, all right, well thank you everybody for joining us here at the last little bit of the great night green room, great room, whole dang thing, let me get my drum roll, yes, there we go, that's going to be it, see I'm checking it now, <laughs> see, now I'm checking it now, uh -huh. All right, are you ready to go, Brett? Let's do it. All right, then I'm going to take this over here, and I'm going to count you in. 